Putin may intensify mobilization to attack other countries after elections, Ukrainian intelligence. The head of the defense intelligence of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine, Kirillo Budanov, has reported the possibility of increased mobilization of Russians after the presidential elections in the Russian Federation, states President Volodymyr Zelensky. Chief of the defense intelligence of Ukraine, Budanov also delivered a separate report. Several issues were raised. First of all, Russia's military plans, not only against our country, but also against other nations. Zelensky states, According to the president, the world's common task is the necessity to defeat this sick Putin's fantasy that he supposedly has time to continue the war. Perhaps he will intensify mobilization after imitation of elections now in March. Mobilization of Russians. However, we must further limit the mobilization of resources and finances, tightening the remnants of Russia's ties with the world even more severely. And everyone who values the lives of their people must do this. Every leader. I'm grateful to everyone who helps, the president added. In Russia, the presidential elections will last for three days, from March the 15th to the 17th, 2024. On December the 8th, 2023, the Kremlin chief Vladimir Putin officially announced his intention to be re-elected. As reported by Reuters, in this case, Putin will be able to remain in power at least until 2030. Moreover, the press secretary of the Russian president, Dmitry Peskov, has already stated that Putin is being re-elected with a result of 90% of the votes. Also, the Kremlin hopes that 30% of the residents of the temporarily occupied territories will voluntarily participate in the elections of the president of the Russian Federation. On the night of March 12, there was a drone attack on seven regions of Russia. This was reported by Russian telegram channels. Ukrainian drones hit Moscow, Korsk, Belgorod, Voronezh, Tula, Oryol and Nizhny Novgorod regions. Drones hit an oil base in the Oryol region and an oil refinery in Nizhny Novgorod. In Nizhny Novgorod, an explosion and a strong fire occurred at the oil refinery owned by Lukoil and one of the country's largest oil refineries. The plant has temporarily stopped its activity. In Belgorod region, seven settlements were left without electricity. Losses are not reported. Прям через дорогу практически ебанул сейчас. Хуй знает, что непонятно. Вроде тихо было, не беспилотник. Ну, горит пиздец. Видно, нахуй, все в котном доме. Да, я не дам.